Dungeon Masters of Reddit, what is the most useless item you gave your party that they were still able to exploit? Magical rubber duck turns whatever body of water it is in slowly into the perfect bath. As in warm and bubbly chucked it in a perhanana pit about 20 minutes later the perhanas were all dead from poisoning via soap. Floaty rock rock that gains slash loses buoyancy based on its temperature. As a warlock with prestidigitation and a rope I could use it to hover and float very slowly, had no way to steer but hey useful when stuck in a pit or on a high place. Rat flute flute that summons a horde of rats a la the Pied Piper, can also be used to control any rat-like being. Including a criminal known as the rat simply because he's a snitch. Had a lot of fun with that. I gave my players a rock of gravity detection which is exactly what it sounds like. They got it early on in the campaign and when dropped it would accelerate until terminal velocity to the nearest center of gravity. So basically it was a rock that would just act like a normal rock. Until way later in the campaign they found themselves floating aimlessly through the astral plane searching for the soul of another player trapped in a keep on a small chunk of land that had been previously transported to the astral plane. They didn't have much to go on as, well, they were essentially floating in a void. Then one of my players pulls out the rock of gravity detection. I tried to argue that it's just a rock so it just floats there, but due to what I thought was a clever wording, my own wording, they argued it should accelerate towards the nearest center of gravity, yeah they found the keep. The rock immediately accelerates towards the nearest player. A wand of lesser summon. Only bringing out local creatures in celestial form. Fish. They picked fish. Just throwing trout in stacks to trigger traps and such. Need to slow down your pursuer? Many fish. Need a distraction? Fish is thrown object. I told them that it can summon literally any local creature but on every character sheet was the word fish gun. Wand of lesser salmon more like. I gave my players an amulet that lets them speak to rocks. The one player who picked it up spent most of that session talking to his new pet rock and would often interrogate rocks they find at scenes for information usually getting either vague info or stuff they can clearly see already, because it's a rock. Later on another party member wanted to try talking to another rock, actually a pile of rocks made into a crude gravestone related to their character's backstory, only for the first party member to find out the amulet was cursed and they couldn't remove it. Later on they got it removed and had the amulet identified where I revealed that the amulet only let them think they could speak to rocks and all the information they had asked of rocks was only information that was already known to them. They basically started using the now uncursed version of the amulet as a tool to ask the me for information they had forgotten or needed clarity on but in character rather than just ask me out of character which was great. Tweezers of Boat Bottling you have gained the ability to put ships into bottles with these tweezers. MFERS were sneaking into dockyards at night and stealing entire fleets. And when the Navy finally caught on they would sail away and toss said shrunken boats in bottles at the Navy boats following them, causing them to rapidly expand. Then they started to plan bottle boatception, putting bottled boats onto full-sized boats and then bottling that boat. Over and over again. Effectively creating a dozen boats to rapidly expand in one town by tossing one bottle. I had to shut that down quick. Player, not DM. Was given an article that only cast quicksand, that turned a certain volume of rock temporarily to quicksand. High level characters, bit of a gag gift. My halfling got it. Small army of orcs approaching us, narrow bridge. DM expects a massive fight that's going to test our HP and empty magic items. Q central portion of stone bridge turning into quicksand and dropping into the gulf below, totally cutting of the orcs. We strolled off at leisure. A.K.A. How to get the DM to blink in silent confusion for three minutes as his game ended hours early. I homebrewed the hat of many hats. It's a regular hat, but it's made of shift weave so it can have the appearance of any other hat. It was part of a shop selling dodgy knockoffs of regular magical items, in this case, the hat of disguise. The halfling who always struggled with RP took it, and it became a great way to get her more involved in what her character would do. 
It started when she transmuted herself and I'm with stupid baseball cap to tease one of the other party members after he'd come up with some bullshit plan, which led to one of the other players asking what this mysterious baseball was, and she just ran with it that it was a game they used to play back in her home region when they were kids. All of a sudden, she had a backstory, rather than just being I'm short and I stab things. I'm sure she would have come into RP eventually, but it was like giving her a dressing up box and seeing her realize that she could actually do things that weren't just purely mechanical. A random encounter in the woods got the players a crow mask that makes it so you can only call like a crow when wearing, based off a slay the spire item. It can be removed without issues so it's a silly flavor item. However, the players are convinced it's the secret MacGuffin of this campaign and keep trying to use it for everything. Most times are failures. But a few times, the stars align and it somehow works. They used it to calm a weird mutated child down so that they could ask it questions to learn about an ambush. They used an large and mask and super high deception and performance role to convince a cult that the fighter was a stronger god than the one they were worshipping. They constantly use it to make every town guard think they are too much trouble to be worth hassling. <laughs>